Hey guys, welcome to the AOS Station Podcast, episode 18. This is Tom, your host, and we actually have a special guest today who hasn't been here for the last, like, 10 episodes, but I'm very glad to have him back. Everybody give a standing uh, applause to Noah, a.k.a. Sky Drinker. Yeah, what's up? Hey, not much. Um, It's good to see you back. It's good to have you back on the show. Yeah, dude, no school. No nope. station all day. Dude, hell yeah. You know how it is. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I guess we'll just jump straight into the news, since you guys already know us. We can go straight to that, which is... Uh, there we go. So the first thing we're going to be talking about uh, is not what's on the screen right now, because you know how good I am at doing this whole show thing. We're actually going to announce that... The uh, in the new Dota 2 patch, they released a new hero, Dota. Uh, these the the the, the Treant Protector. I don't want to even try to pronounce his name. Roof Trafalgar. Roof Trafalgar. Whatever. Um, basically, he's the same as he always has been. Um, actually, not not the same as he's always been, because they changed him like a year ago. But he's basically the same since then. Um, so if you're new to the Dota scene, there's not much uh, to talk about. If you're old to the Dota scene and you haven't really seen the new changes within the last year, then this will be new to you, but check them out regardless. There's really not much to talk about in the Dota 2 scene other uh, other than that, though, because basically all they're doing is transferring stuff from Dota 1 to Dota 2, so there's no actual gameplay changes, just bug fixes. So we're going to go straight over to uh, League of Legends, I believe, and we're going to talk about that real quick. Noah, you are a uh, our League of Legends correspondent. What do you have to say about the uh, the state of League of Legends as it is currently, and like patch notes, etc., etc.? It's funny because I was the Han correspondent like ten episodes ago. Yeah, and then you kind of quit Han, and now I started getting back yeah. into Han. And... Yep. All right. Well, League has pretty much been the same forever. I mean, nothing ever changes. They haven't made any like big landfalls in anything. Uh, the next patch coming out that was actually supposed to be out today, but it got delayed because they have like, they say that there's a patch every two weeks, but you always have to tag on another week or so onto that for an accurate like estimation of when the patch will actually come out. And it'll be bringing Darius, who is like a dude with an axe, and he spins. It looks really boring, actually. You know who that sounds like? Yeah, it's. <laughs> I thought it would be too. It's not like a Garen spin though. Like, no, I meant like axe. Oh, yeah. Well, not really. No, but it okay. did sound like X. I called it. I thought it would be X, but he's not. Okay. So props to them not making X, because that would have been a good move. Because <laughs> X, X is pretty cool, fun. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're coming up with a complete graphical overhaul, which is really the only like big thing they're doing, because it means that uh they claim it will double your FPS if you're on like a crap computer or something. So I guess for all you people with like your shitty rigs out there, that's uh, good for you. Enjoy your uh, shitty game on your shitty rig. Uh, they also... I heard they also changed the, uh, what, did you say they changed the HUD? I know they changed the map as They well made as the, the HUD. HUD, like, smaller. It's not really noticeable. No, but um, I mean, like, they optimized it to lower FPS, uh, to raise yeah, FPS. Yeah, yeah, but you can't really notice it. Oh, okay. It's, like, it's kind of just, like, smaller and more out of the way, which, if anything, makes it worse, because if you're like me and forget to use your actives all the time in League, then now it'll be even harder for you. Whoops. Because you don't, you don't even remember <laughs> you have the fucking tiny-ass square box down there with actives in it. Yeah. But, yeah. I had an active? I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, all those times, I could have zonias and not died. Oh, uh, yeah. Nah. Yeah, it happens. Whatever. Um, are they doing any balance changes to the game, or just those two? Nothing significant. Just the typical trials and errors with, like, buffs and nerfs. They It seems like they kind of toss them out, honestly. They just yeah. randomly just, hey, yeah. what? Like, <laughs> spin a there'll wheel. Be, there'll be something on the forums that'll be like upvoted to high heaven and has like a gajillion pages on something that's like actually viable for a change, which is why it has so many views and stuff. And they'll like do something to the same champion that's being talked about that has like no relevance to that at all. This is a nerf Evelyn. Right balance. This is nerf Evelyn. <laughs> Might as well. Dude, it looks like I get like a red, a red mustache. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Awesome. That's crazy. I got like some. That's all the Diablo I've been playing. I've got to read everything, so rub off on my stash. Sweet. Uh, I also heard that they were changing it uh, around some of the ways that ranked works, such as they aren't allowing free-to-play characters or characters that you've accessed yeah. through the free, through the free-to-play roster in yeah. ranked games. Yep, the free-to-play roster will no longer be allowed, which is good. It's like the first intelligent decision they've ever made because. 
at like the worst case scenario, if a kid's gonna troll or if he's just bad, at least he's going to troll and or be bad with a champion he somewhat knows how to play because you can assume that since they own them, they've at least played them once, which is better than people being like, oh man, it's free wig AD, <laughs> and then they go like zero thirty bot. Well, I also want to I also want to um uh confirm that they're not banning the free to play characters; they're just banning. They're not allowing you to choose from the free-to-play roster right. if you don't own it. If them. you don't own it, you can't play it, but if you own it and it's on the roster, you can still pick it. It's just you won't be able to pick it off the roster unless you own it. Yeah. So that you can't, like, be shitty or mm -hmm. something. Because rank's already pretty <laughs> awful. And they're also doing a change with, like, um, how the uh, the team leader is chosen. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, Where, yeah. They're, they're making yeah. it so that each car each player has a per person uh, a percent chance to be the, the captain... And whoever's whoever's the leader of the group gets the accumulated percent chances of everyone in his group. Right. Whereas before it was if you were in like a duo lock, I think it was like if you were in a duo lock, then you like automatically one of the people in the duo lock was at the top. Yeah. So like if you soloed with two duo locks or something like that, you would never ever be the leader. Mm -hmm. And that I mean I guess it makes sense, but it could also potentially suck because you yeah. get like really shitty duos. Which it's true. Is, which is pretty, pretty frequent. frequent. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, um, what else? Do, 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 Is that really it for the League of Legends news? That's all I can think of. Um, as far as I know, I mean, the game's pretty static. Like, oh. they put up the same style of champion all the time, so the gameplay never really goes anywhere. <laughs> Talking about uh, new champions, what do you think about Varus? Because I heard you've been playing him. I have 60 games logged with Varus since his release. And uh, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> that very informative. Thank you very much. Varus is cool. He's um, he's strong in the sense that he can do a lot more than other AD carries because of his him being like a caster AD. But he's weaker in the sense that he can't right click as hard as some of the other ones can. Like so, uh, like, Bane. Yeah. So basically, he's weak because most of league players are bad, and he requires skill to be good. Whereas most ADs don't require skill. So he doesn't really fit into the meta because. All of the bads pick easy champions, and unless you're really good, you'll get shit on. So it's basically, he's basically at the right level, and all the other heroes are just yes. super easy. He's compared. like, I would say he's actually balanced. The only thing I would complain about, and it would be in the sense of him being underpowered, would be the fact that his passive is veins, but worse. Okay. And yeah. just to clarify, because I like made a, I made a thread about this, and like people were like, silly noob, veins passive gives her movement speed. All right, that's an innate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> passives, I mean, a, like, actively selected ability yeah. via leveling up, not the innate. Mm -hmm. Fucking retarded, but... Well, they're yeah. LOL players. I mean, they don't know what an innate is, so they're LOL players. <laughs> and their game has innates. How do you not know that? In fact, they're the only game with innates. Uh, yeah, well, like, pretty much. But, yeah. So, hey. yeah that's, I really like him. He's yeah, really cool, but you. you definitely have to be good. There's, like, there's a curve there. That's it's good. not a, a no-risk... Like a bazillion reward, if you're playing someone like Caitlyn or Ash, or yeah. Okay, well that's good. It's good to get here. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad he's okay. What about Hecarim? Hecarim's bad. <laughs> okay, well next thing. Uh, let's go on to the Heroes of New Earth news. Uh, there's actually a fair amount of news considering that the new hero just came out, and there's a patch notes that we forgot to go cover. Well, we didn't forget to cover. Uh, we didn't actually have an episode last week, and this week is delayed. So we were perfectly delayed so that. We got the new uh, Han champion. Uh, fuck, fuck, no, kill me, please. Just shoot me in the head. Shoot me. I mean hero. I mean hero. Please, no. It's okay, Tom. Oh, no. It's gonna be all right. Okay. I think. <laughs> I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> no, get that off the screen. <laughs> we come in peace. Okay, okay. Um, so as you can see on the screen right now, we have the Heroes of New Earth uh, 2.6.2 patch notes, and I will go down them, and we can talk about what they really mean about the game, in general. Um, they nerfed uh, Armadon's passive so that the damage taken needed to shoot ex extra spines is increased by 50 damage, so now it's 250 rather than 200. Um, there's not really much to say besides Armadon's kind of cheap, so I like that nerf. Do you agree? Wait, what did they... I, sorry, I didn't catch that. They increased the damage. Out a little bit. You know how his passive, he ta um, when he takes a certain threshold yep. of damage, he shoots extra spines? They increased yep. the threshold. So now all he right. needs to take 250 rather than 200. So, he, so all right. He I shoots mean, less spines overall. He could probably be a little bit more of a nerf, but 
<laughs> well, yeah, it could be more of a nerf, but it is someday. A, it is someday a nerf. Armadon will actually not be ridiculous. Well, it's so funny because like Bristleback in Dota isn't that ridiculous. I mean, he's no. he's stupid, but he's like I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, no. They used to be numerically similar. Yeah. But now they like made the spikes on Armadon like heat seeking and super fast. <laughs> so well, that's that's a thing. Yeah, I just don't get you know what I mean. The differences between Han and Dota are so not so small, but like. Obviously, Han's faster, but I don't really see how that would well, affect Well, that's, that's just a really no. random hero to, like, be better yeah. than its Dota counterpart. It like, is. Nobody played Bristleback, really. Mm -hmm. I mean... Except for, uh, I forget his name, uh, Totally Noob, I believe, on YouTube, has a bunch of funny videos of Bristleback. Oh, yeah, playing, that's because he does the fat yeah. fucking magic wand abuse, because he's True. awesome. Oh, by the way, a good video. Just, uh, just pro tip for any aspiring Han Dota player out there, pick up Magic Wand. No matter what hero you're playing, just pick it up. It's or the, mana battery. Or, or yeah, on. or mana battery. It's the one of the best items in the game. Just do it. Um, the second change that we're going to be talking about is Balfagor. They're changing his corpse conversion. The uh, minions now have increased magic armor. Well, you know, from three to four. Not that big of a deal. And they they're getting the um, they're getting the the wild soul treatment. They can't attack towers uh, unless Balfagor is near them. So you can't like just fire and forget siege towers from across the map. Which, I don't know if that's really necessary, but whatever. Are you still there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm just like, there's people talking to me. Oh, sorry. The door. That's fine. It's them being annoying. Uh, so, so yeah, they're, they're nerfing, they're buffing and nerfing Balfagor's creeps, but you don't see that's Balfagor weird. enough to make it really worthwhile. They really need to buff his ult. Yeah, they, they do. Be, they need to do that already. They and need I, to buff, and buff his ult. I, I seriously only mean give him something extra that happens at like 100 stacks. Yeah, because doesn't it stop at 80? And it, it'll yeah, go to 100, but nothing stop changes. And it'll go to 100. And it's not like they carry over. It's not like you use it and there's 80 stacks left. I mean, there's uh, 20. 20 stacks left, excuse me. Like, you just lose all your stacks. Uh, I mean, uh, that's silly. They need to change that. That just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Even if it's something small. Um, I really like Belvagorn. I it's do too. It's kind of underwhelming unless you build full push, which I guess is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Berserker. They are increasing... Oh, no. They're lowering the cast range for Mark for, Mark for Death by 200. Uh, and they're rescaling the physical damage bonus from Carnage to from 8% to 6, 7, and 8%. So it's worse at low levels, better at high levels. Um, basically... Your damage scales as you level it up, I guess. Right. Um, well, that's too bad. I really liked the casting mark on uh, on your next. Well, yeah, uh, but I mean, it's not. It's it's only by two hundred range. No, like, but I mean, it's a valid buff. I mean, nerf. And, yeah, it is. It is it. a big. It is a big nerf, but still, like. No, but I mean, it's a good one. Like, I'm gonna miss it because it was a hilarious ability to just like sling across <laughs> the entire screen. Yeah. But you could literally put that buff on people that were like almost off of your screen. Like, it's mm -hmm. pretty ridiculous. Um, they're also changing lethal range on Gunblade. They're changing, they're lowering the damage multiplier from 30, 40, 50, 60 to 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. Um, basically just a 10 percent nerf at all levels, uh, for his damage off lethal range. I don't, I haven't really played against Gunblade enough to really see. I haven't really, really played Gunblade. Gunblade's, re <laughs> he's fun. really fun, but. I don't, he doesn't see much play though. So yeah, 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 exactly. I, I he's, see, even once he went free, there wasn't much Gunblade. He's really fun, but it's, it's one of those questions of, can you compare him to Flint Beastwood? And he really doesn't compare. So. That's the biggest problem though. He's actually the opposite of Flint Beastwood. Does he, he does, he deals more damage when you're close. So it's like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, not many people do compare to Flint Beastwood. He's kind of the god among AD long range AD carries. Emerald Warden kind of does, like sort of, and Artillery kind of does as well. But yeah, now it's all about melee. Yeah, yeah it's true. Carries, so. Even though they did nerf in the last patch their health regen by like twenty five point twenty five, but whatever. That's because they fucking buffed it by like a lot. Yeah, they buffed it by they buffed it by one hundred seventy five. It was like one point two five, wasn't it? It was it was it was point two five originally, and then they buffed it to two. And then yeah. they nerfed it to yep. 1.75, so at least that's what I, I remember. Um, well, that makes more sense, mm -hmm. yeah. Because um, they're a little ridiculous. Because Flint Beastwood, greater than Zion's, like, almost all of the other ranged true. agility carries, but Mage Bane being fed greater than Zion. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, Flint yeah. Beastwood like and a lot of people. Like, if you watch Honcast, the highest GPM you'll see in a Honcast match, I think it was, like, somewhere between, like... 700 and 780 or something ridiculous, and it was it's always on Mage Bane. Like yeah, you, I think Angry Tessie got like 900 on Tremble once, though. Well, that's but that's totally that's possible. Tremble's completely broken. Yeah, it's just melee there's carries. Really, there's really no two ways about that. Um, let's go back to the notes. Uh, they're nerfing Jarazaya's movement speed by five. Good. You know, whatever. I guess. I guess. Like, do people get early 
early aura and then you chase? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yep. okay. Well, there you go. Uh, I don't know why I'm moving the screen. Keeper of the Forest. Uh, the Animate Forest. His little guys have a lowered attack speed, so they attack slower, basically. Uh, right. And th this is an interesting change. Sandwraith, uh, his deserted ability, uh, now now procs off people with the Desert's Curse debuff, even if there's allies nearby. So you're going to get that bonus true damage if you hit somebody with your Q, even if there's allies nearby them. That's interesting. Yeah, so that that's, a, that's just a straight buff to Sandwraith's DPS. Now he's going to get true damage basically all the time. Uh, well, I still don't know if anyone will play him, though. His yeah. His early game is abysmal. It is, it is. But, I mean, once he gets rolling, he's pretty... Oh, yeah. Focused, Radiance, but... win. <laughs> win the game. I think that's well, ridiculous. And, I, and he has he has one of the best uh, last-hitting animations in the game. It's true. So. But why the... Like, what the hell is... Like, what are they thinking? Letting Radiance stack on illusions? That's... Uh, it just hurts. It hurts Man. my brain. It's better than before they nerfed his uh his damage passive. Yeah, it's true. The one that reflects. Dissipate, yeah. It used to be used to be able to sit in fountain and kill. It the used enemy to be team. true damage, yeah, and it used to be yep. a higher percentage as well. And a larger range. They nerfed Whoops. everything about it because you could stand in fountain and kill. Yeah. Everyone, and it was pretty funny actually. <laughs> What's great is like um mid wars is kind of bringing back those kind of strats because you can literally stand in people's like like. The fountain is so close, and there's not many towers in between that, and you get fed so quickly that they, you end up you end up ending games a lot like that, uh, especially oh, I'll, with Armada. I actually it's, have not tried. Mid Wars uh, is incredibly Midwars, fun. Yep. It's so it's like it's it's literally like League of Legends and Heroes of New Earth. It's just incredibly broken, like nonsensical bullshit, but it's fun as fuck. <laughs> like you don't lose gold on death, um, you get gold incredibly fast. And you just get become an incredible, unstoppable killing machine, and it's fun as hell. So you should try it out. Um, and that's it for the Heroes of New Earth patch notes, but we're going to be able to talk about Bramble the new hero. Did you see the hero spotlight? Yep. Okay, good. So um, we're going into this. Without a um, Into the moonlight. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Um, her okay, so first of all, Bramble is the new hero that's coming out next Friday, and she's a kind of like, um, what is it? the Little Shop of Horrors kind of bug uh, bug plant thing. And uh, her Q ability is Spore Breath. It's basically Balfagor's Breath, except it stuns at the end. So, um... You run after people. Yeah, you run ends. after people, it slows them. That's what happens. My camera froze. Camera, don't phrase. <laughs> don't phrase. <laughs> camera, why are you phrasing? Sorry, just a moment. Technical difficulties. Oh, there we go. Technical difficulties. Um... So, uh, yeah. So basically, it's the same ability, but it stuns. So it's better. <laughs> um, her second ability is Ensnaring Shrubbery, and it shields an ally with a buff that slows nearby enemies. Additionally, any hero damage suffered while shrouded heals nearby allies for a percentage of the damage dealt. So it negates some damage, like it mitigates some damage by healing over it, as well as healing nearby allies. That sounds pretty incredible for a buff. Yeah. And it but... slows. Yeah, but you're also, I mean, you're a giant plant. <laughs> I guess and that's that's the best. That's the and best backup. Like a, a woman giant plant. Yeah, well, you're a giant female plant. Yeah, I can see With, her being like, really fun eyes. though. Being really okay, you're going way too cosmetic for me. I think Not I think good. it's a really cool ability. Um, it's cool, but I foresee issues like Shinigami Gravekeeper, where the model is so big that you get hit by everything. Well, that's kind of the point, though. With her, you want to have ensnaring shrubbery on you and be the tanky I mean, initiator. True, but you, know you I mean? also don't want to always get hit. Sure. You might be like, oh man, I'm gonna make this sweet getaway, and like Valk throws an arrow, and if you were like someone who I don't know was like taking slim fast or something, you wouldn't get hit by it. But you're a giant fucking plant. So <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it is cosmetic, but to an extent, it also affects gameplay. Yeah. That's why Shinigami Gravekeeper was so bad. Okay. Just. just Big fat ghost, your little stick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was rough. Uh, okay, so her her E ability, her third ability, is a passive aura, which grants movement speed every time you attack, and every time a nearby ally attacks as well. Um, I don't wanna as 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 you can see on the screen in my little notes, it says I don't wanna fluff my own feathers, but this seems very similar to a passive that I designed for a hero I designed months ago, or at least like, like a month ago, uh, on the here on the Han Dream website. So. I'm glad that it's in the game now, but, uh, you know, come on, guys, throw me a bone. 
Nobody? 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 Okay. At least hire me. Come on. <laughs> um, I think that'd be pretty cool, but whatever. I just want to light, write lore for them, because Han lore is fucking awful. Han lore is pretty garbage. But like, I know nobody cares about it in yeah. any ways, but it's, it's pretty bad. Read Bubbles lore. <laughs> no, I don't want to. to Wasn't he like a, a turtle for a wizard or something? He was like a wizard's turtle, and then he, like, his <laughs> wizard master died, and then he like fell in a cauldron and became a magic turtle. <laughs> Like it's probably the worst thing I've ever read, except for Twilight. And now and he's now he's Captain about, America. Yeah, now he's Captain America. Okay, uh, let's go back to the hero. Her ultimate. God fucking damn it! My stupid thing is frozen again. Every time I'm happy, the game, the stupid internet just wants to break it. Okay, the there we go. Want you to be happy. Okay, so her ultimate is um, is uh, entangling vine wall. It summons a wall of vines, which attack and slow nearby enemies, and they also block collision. Uh, not really much to say about this. Just another collision blocking ability, like Behemoth and Empath. Right. What do you foresee? What do you foresee this character doing? Obviously, she's like a a tanky initiator support, right? Something like that. Maybe maybe even like a mid lines, just like buffer disruptor kind mm. of thing. I mean, I could see tanky initiator. Well, she's it, strength. That's well, that was my right. thought process. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I don't know. I uh, yeah, I'd say either I'd say initiator or midline mm -hmm. like disruption. Okay. With her like vine wall. Thing. Yeah. Now uh, let's go over some of these items because I, I I wrote in my notes some suggested items, uh, for the character and like, obviously I wrote helm of the black legion, pretty yep. basic. Mystic, pretty mystic vestments <laughs> against magic damage, pretty basic. Um, I I wrote frost field frost field plate as well. Because it gives you that int so that you can keep casting while also giving that additional slow to go within snaring Sharbury. Um, yep, it's a little expensive, but still. Well, and it also goes with the uh, with her Q. Yeah. So that you can it does as well. guarantee you'd get that stun off mm -hmm. unless they blink or something. Uh, Steam Boots, I thought, was better than Phase because she already has the movement ability, um, the movement speed aura, and the slow from her Sharbury, So. Yep. Yeah, I can feel that. Uh, Mock of Brilliance as a troll pickup or a, a whatever, a luxury. The troll um, Blood Chalice versus Power Supply. What do you think about that? It always depends on the matchup. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But she is a strength caster, so Blood Chalice leaning a little bit more towards that because that's what I. That's what I. That's what I feel. Yeah, I could see that. Okay. Blood Chalice. I mean, you can get both too if you're it's true. really hurt and and you have the setup for it. Like you're fighting like Armadon or. Um, Alonia, she ca she has like a five second cooldown on all her stuff. Well, and who's the who's the one that I played for a while? God, it's been Bombardier? so long. No, the uh the wizard chick who has like the ward that shoots out uh heat seeking missiles. Oh, uh, I want to say Ariola, <laughs> but that's not it. That's probably not it. <laughs> Let's call her that. I have no idea. I forget. Yeah, her. yeah, her. People, people or matchups like that where you, yeah. like spamming she gets a lot. Up all those stacks and then just spams her Q nonstop. Mm -hmm. uh, I also wrote down barbed armor to go with the ensnaring Sharbury because you're gonna be ne ne negating some of the damage through the heal as well as, uh, right. you know, just just generally being a threat. So yeah, and if they're focusing you enough to be proccing the Sharbury buff like enough times, then you might as well get. Thornmail, because mm -hmm. they're obviously out to hit you. So, and I also I wrote down uh, Nullstone for the extra int and the extra obviously defensive stuff, and it gives you extra mana, so that might help with the casting. And right. Behemoth's Heart, just generalized strength item. Yep, sounds I mean, pretty, pretty solid. standard, but it seems like it works. Um, I mean, actually, there's not much room for deviation, all things considered. Yeah, that's true. Um, actually, one of my one of my YouTube commentator commentators commenters whatever. Uh, suggested Souls Bulwark. What do you think about that? Could be good. I mean, I, I feel I will always feel like Souls Bulwark is a pretty solid pickup on anyone. Well, I, I'd say it's pretty situational. Oh. actually, all things considered, I mean, it's a solid item. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a very good item. But I feel like, for the most part, it's situational and also depends on your money. And like, like if somebody else might want it more, like Predator yeah, or Tree. Like, I feel like a lot of stuff in Han is actually really situational. <laughs> Well, that's maybe that's. I, I feel good. like build guides are pretty. Meh. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I, that's another pro tip. If you find a guide out there, don't just follow it straight to the letter. It you should always be. Um, you have to adapt. To adapting the game your guide, yeah. Because no game will pretty much be exactly the same unless you're playing League of Legends or Trumbull. Yeah. Trumbull. Trumbull, Trumbull games. Every game, every game will be the same. You'll win. <laughs> Actually, wasn't it like the year anniversary for Trumbull rape? 
I think she Maybe. I think she has like 500 I, I say she I don't know why I think it's a she just thinking of the plant but the plant. um uh Maybe. yeah I think I think they have like 500 uh games so far with only Trumbull on that account which I thought was pretty yeah. cool and like most of them are wins too. yeah 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 like crazy like 54 percent win percentage or something crazy so that's not crazy at all, at all 54 no. but you know what I mean um with but only one hero is yeah she, consider, well, you me doing it now considering they only play Trumbull yeah it's pretty cool. But once you get micro down, I mean, you effectively double your GPM, so it makes sense that you can do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I agree. Also, someone in uh, someone in chat is saying something. Uh, someone being Brian, I believe. Yes, and he says, uh, Noah is cool, but uh, and he brings more to the discussion, but he needs a desk lamp or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It was actually brighter in this room when I started. Yeah, it was. Like, it was backlit, but this room's <laughs> lighting is really intense, mm -hmm. so like when it starts to fade outside, it's really noticeable. But I can like. Don't no, don't worry about it. I don't care. You're you're perfectly visible. There we awesome. go. Good. Awesome. Okay. Um. By the way, Brian, if you have any questions for the show, please feel free to ask in the chat room, and we will go on to the next thing. So, Mid Wars, you haven't played any of it. What do you think about it, it speculatively? Is. Yeah, what do you think about it speculatively, since you know what it is? I mean, as is like a super casual mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I mean, Mid Wars has always been super fun. I honestly wish they put in WTF mode, too. Oh my god. Stuff like that, because that be really funny. And then you could do mid mode with that. As much yeah. as I love WTF, I really want to see Oh My God mode. You know, oh my god, that's pretty good. The, like, ha I really want to build like a keeper of the forest with dissipate and and um, kinesis is passive and um, and armad armadillos uh, armadon's armor armadillos. and just and uh, what is the the hand of fate or whatever um, martyrs ultimate. So yep. just like an unstoppable tree of death would be amazing. I want to build those funny. heroes. Um, yeah. OMG was a good mode. OMG WTF. All those OMG, modes need WTF to be ported together. Now that's a good mode. That would be retarded. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, those kids that picked Zeus and Satin Fountain and were just la, like... La 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 Yeah. Looked like they got a shitty Skrillex concert. Except with lightning. <laughs> and everyone dies. <laughs> and everyone dies. And then everyone uh, buys Nullstones and then they're sad. Uh, yeah. Well, it only works once. Shh. Oh, wait, does it? I don't know. Does Nullstone reset in WTF? That's a good question. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. It doesn't look like we have any questions in the chat room. Do you have anything else to say, Noah? Not really. I mean, I'll be here probably for the rest of the episode. That's awesome. I'm yeah. very glad to have you back on. Uh, what are you What are you playing in the in the gaming world? Doesn't even need to be an AOS. Uh, Diablo three and some League of Legends. I actually bought Diablo three so that I wouldn't have a reason to play League of Legends. <laughs> anymore, but sometimes I still go back to it. And it keeps pulling I've, you back in. <laughs> I've just grinded too much Diablo 3. Like, I have to take a break sometimes. Yeah. And Guild Wars 2 beta, I guess I can say. Okay. Oh, yeah, no NDA? Yeah, when, it, when it's up, I play it. Yeah, no NDA. Sweet. Cool. And it won't be next. I like nobody cares, and this is like the AOS station, but. Oh, wow. For those of you, for those wow. of you in it. No, I mean, it's a Guild Wars 2 thing. Oh, okay. And this is an AOS station. <laughs> chill, chill your nuts, my friend. For those of you in the beta, if you didn't see, it's going to be the week after this one, probably. Oh, okay. Not this weekend. Okay, cool. Um, as for me, I've been playing a lot of Heroes in the Earth, Midwars, Minecraft, Tribes Ascend. Oh, yeah, Tribes. Tribes is really that. good. Um, a lot of that, too. What else? Peggle. <laughs> the tried and true, you know. And Peggle. Yeah. Um, we actually have a question in the chat room, if you don't mind asking. Oh, uh, answering, no. excuse me. No. Um. Well, I guess I should preface this by asking, are you familiar with the game Smite? No. Okay, no. well, I guess it's a question just for me, then. Um, he says, what What are your both your thoughts on Smite? Uh, since you don't really know what it is, I will let you know, and I'll let the viewers know as well. Smite is basically... Um, Smite is basically what would happen if you took a MMO, almost, like a PvP MMO, and made it into an AOS, or an ARTS, or whatever, a MOBA. Uh, basically... You're like a god. You're like a, a like from a pantheon of gods, and um, it's it's like third person view. You know, with like you here and whatever. Yeah. Um, and it looks pretty cool. I don't really know much more than that. And uh, yeah, it, it, as as Brian's saying in chat room, it says he says it's got WoW style camera and controls, pretty much just like your basic 3D uh, MMO controls. Okay. Um, and it seems pretty cool. Um, one of the things I thought was interesting was how they do lanes. Um. They actually um, encourage pushing during the laning phase because 
if uh, if the enemy tower kills an allied creep, it basically denies it. Right. Um, okay. Like, uh, so if you push up to the tower and the enemy tower kills your creeps, your enemy heroes aren't going to be gaining as much XP and and uh, and gold from those kills. So right. it's an it's, it's it, instead of incentivizing. I like that, actually. Yeah. So that's like, that's why they cool don't mechanic. they don't yeah. have denying because they don't need it because pushing is a, is is a way of denying. And, and I think that's good. interesting. Yeah, I don't. I mean, anything that discourages passive play, man. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of passive play. That's actually why Darius, the the new champion coming out in league, even though he's like kind of bad looking and his his build, like his skills are lackluster, he pretty much is full offensive. And like once you engage in a fight, you have to commit, and you can't play defensively because he can't trade hits. That's so pretty you cool. Have to commit, and I'm probably gonna get him just because I want to play a champion like that that you can't pussy out on, just because it seems like fun. I that's mean, yeah, that seems pretty cool. Like balls out. But um, yeah, that, that's a cool mechanic. I really, I yeah, that. I know, I really like that mechanic because I always like before I knew anything about these games, I was like, why the hell are you just standing there not auto attacking? You should be pushing the lane. Come on, guys. And you know, once somebody explained it to me, it, you know, makes sense right. in the in like the mechanics, it but it doesn't make sense like the games thematically. Played. You're fighting a war. No one goes, oh, guys, don't push. But, we want to yeah, farm. Yeah, you don't want to take their base. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to take the base. Not yet. Doesn't make sense. Uh, so I really like this kind of aggressive behavior uh, That's it's it's reinforcing with this kind of mechanic. I think that's really dope, and I want to see more from this game. Yeah, I um, Also, Brian in chat room says uh, we should check out Legend of Grimrock. It's basically like an old old style... Yeah. Oh, is that the uh, dungeon crawler? Yes, yeah, the dungeon crawler. It's the old school dungeon crawler. Like, that seems really cool. To move through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That seems pretty interesting. I've seen a few videos about that. Um, I have a quick question. You said you said uh, you you looked at the new LOL champions skills and you said they were lackluster. Could you give us any specifics? Um, cuz I don't have yeah. any notes on the LOL oh, stuff. Oh, I mean, I can get you the notes. You said he spins? He's All right. So, Go for I was it. off the top of my top of my head. I'm pretty sure I'm right. So, his passive is hemorrhaging. Every time he auto attacks, he puts a stack of like a blood stack on an opponent, and it stacks up to five times. And from what I saw in the videos, I saw there is a slight dot associated with that. Nothing like game changing. So I mean, because obviously if it was huge and you had five stacks, that'd be pretty huge. But five stacks, small dot. Um, his next ability is a pull. Which is literally just he like whips out his axe and then he pulls them close to him and it passively gives him armor pen I believe. Um, the range on it kind of sucks, which is disappointing. I mean I guess I guess he's not supposed to be like Blitzcrank or Devourer and like pulling people across the map and stuff, but I was kind of hoping to be a little bit bigger. But it's mostly if I guess it's if someone starts to get like a little bit of a gain on you, you just yank them back. Yeah, is it a, is it a aim shot? Yes, oh, okay. I, my knowledge. I actually don't know. Yeah, it probably is. Sure it League is. of Legends. Yeah. Well, because it's AoE, yeah. so I would imagine so. Okay. It can pull multiple targets. Which oh, is that's cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah, and his spin, which I actually thought was cool, it is a spin, but it's only one rotation, and enemies who are hit by the blade take more damage than those hit by the haft. Oh, shaft. okay. Haft? Shaft. No, shaft, shaft is what it's called. I yeah. think it's. I think both of them are legitimate, but yeah. The point being, if the front of it hits you, you take more damage than okay. all of it hitting you. And his ultimate... Um, is very close to very similar to Garant's in the sense that it's like a jump kill shot deals more damage, true damage based on the number of stacks they have on them. And oh, from your passive, or right, from your innate? Yeah, okay. From your from your pass, innate. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, and it instantly refreshes on cooldown. So I think it's kind of cool because even though it is kind of like Garant's, and I wish they'd stop being cookie cutter things. Yeah. It's still nice because it's not like, oh hey, we dueled to fifty percent, you lose. And think about it. Think about it. He doesn't have a dash. He doesn't have a shield. He doesn't have some weird has, summon that you have to control no at all. Out, he has no out whatsoever. I probably won't even play him with flash. He, I'm just like, I, you, you get in that fight and, and you, you fight it. You balls One out or you die. Down. That and sounds I, pretty cool. I think that's awesome because even Trinomir, who is my like, I know people will be like, Trinomir is a noob champion. Whatever. He's I mean, easy, so fuck he's, it. He's, <laughs> But I like playing him because I could spin into people and attack a bunch of people. But even him, who was like this big manly champion, still, still has, a, has a yeah, pussy and ability. Darius you literally away. can't do anything other than flash. And if you build flash, Darius, you're a huge fag. <laughs> Sorry. You just you take you take a champion uh, intended for highly aggressive play. Yeah. Away. I mean, I would say flash is kind of a scrubby pickup. I mean, it's a it's a necessary pickup. It's obviously necessary to win, but it's well, for scrubs. And I get it. I get it on people who have no escapes that are like I get it on Varus because yeah. Varus has no out. Yeah. And 
even though I still think Flash in general is scrubby, Var, I mean, you're the AD carry, you can't afford to die. Yeah, it's so. really, it's true. But if you're, like, this giant machine with an axe and full AD, because that's what everything he has skills off of, mm -hmm. then, I mean, fuck it, you get in there. <laughs> Actually, talking about that, um, I recently played LoL, and, you know, I, I used to think that Flash and, uh, and Ignite were, like, mandatory, you're a retard if you don't pick those two skills, um, but I picked in power. And I thought that was a really cool... You mean Surge? Whatever, yeah, the, whatever it is. The one where you increase attack speed, yeah, increase yep. AP. You I thought that pick. was really cool. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, it is? <laughs> Am I a scrub for picking that? I thought it was really cool. I picked no. it on Sivir. I mean, it sucks because it has potential and then is bad. It's really only... I've only seen it viably, like, viable on, on like, tanky DPS Fizz. And you're already bad if you're playing tanky DPS Fizz. Oh, okay. So but it's kind of like it has potential, but it doesn't actually. It it's not good enough to replace Flashing Knight on like an AP. Oh, okay, so it's not necessarily bad, but it just gets outclassed. Yeah, like okay. I mean, like everything else in Han and League. Yeah. It gets outclassed. Okay, I hear. So you. cool concept. We'll never see full execution because in the face of much better summoner spells. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things where it's like if you buff the numbers, there's a very thin line as to which it'll actually be on par. Like, yeah, because, because there's you, such different mechanics, and if you buff it too much, it'll just be overpowered. Yeah, exactly, so. because if you if they buffed it too much, then early game, you could, like, pop it in and, like, three-shot someone. Yeah, so, that, yeah, so, so you would suggest changing, the, like, the actual mechanic, like, not just numbers, changing yeah, what it does. I They need to, like, I wouldn't make it... I, I think AP and attack speed is a cool combination, but it benefits too few people to be viable, and even those people benefit better from other things. So maybe just, like, attack speed or something what like that. What if they combined it... Combined it? Combound it? Combo whatever. What if they combined it with Ghost, so that it gave you movement speed and the attack speed and the AP? Take out the AP and reduce the amount of speed it gives you. Yeah. yeah I think that'd be pretty that would, cool. Yeah, reduce the duration... Reduce the duration, it's active, and reduce the amount of speed. So you'd have both, but it would be more of a... Like committed a, fight like thing. a surge yeah it would be like a yeah exactly like a surge of strength instead of i'm gonna chase after you for the next 30 years i'm gonna chase i'm gonna chase i'm gonna chase i'm gonna get you because i got ghost flash <laughs> i'm gonna okay, okay, chase in master yes yeah. yeah, so i'm chasing master e so yeah i'm chasing master okay That'd be cool they probably won't do it though yeah it's true they're gay because they're riot <laughs> okay um, well uh yeah. oh sorry were you gonna say something Oh, no, I was going to apologize for saying gay is a derogatory term. I love gay people. I just hate gay companies. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I'm trying to phase that out of my vernacular, but it's just so descriptive sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and it's so, it's so prevalent. Uh, yeah. Like, everywhere. Like, I have tons of gay friends, and I wouldn't call them faggots, but just, mm, the, it has a also, bite to it. Yeah. It I mean, has a bite to just it. Just grapes them. Yeah, it's true. Okay, well, uh, that's a great way to end this show. Um... I'm so glad to have you back on the show, Noah. I'm, I know, obviously, I see you, like, every day, but still, it's great to yeah. have you on the show. Um, uh, thank you so much for being in the chat, Brian. I appreciate you as our one viewer. And um, uh, let's, I guess we'll do the outro right now. I am Tom, and you can find me on Twitter at Panamanana, and you can find the show at The AOS Station on Twitter. You can also find me on Facebook at Panamanana, and you can find me on YouTube uh, at, at Panda Banana, and you can find the AOS station on YouTube at the AOS station. Noah, where can they find you? You can find me at uh, youtube.com slash the sky drinker. Okay. And uh, that's about it. Do you have a Twitter? No. Ah, you should make one. Come on, do it. I don't need to, man. You got the whole AOS station spiel going on, dog. That's true. That's Basically, true. if you if you can find if you can find Panda, you can find me. That's how so. we do. I'm around. Okay. Well, uh, it's great having you on again. Uh, it's great having people in the chat. I really appreciate it. And this was episode 18 of the AOS Station. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you next week at uh, what? Do you want to change the time? Uh, I'm same time's fine for me. I mean, but but it's Tuesday today. I'm thinking of changing it to Tuesdays. Hey, either way, I can I can probably uh, call, like. Uh... It's a good thing you can't see my video. <laughs> It's a good thing I can't see your video too. Actually, you can't. I can. I can make my. I can change my schedule around. Oh no, it's not a big deal. Well, well, would it would it actually require you to change your schedule? Because I can always have it be I Monday. Mean, I don't think so. All I do is see my girlfriend and play video games. Okay. So <laughs> my schedule is pretty open. Okay. Well, well, Tuesday it is, guys. This is the official announcement. We're changing it to Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find us here at Twitch.tv/slash/TheAOSStation. 
uh, and AOSstation.com for all of your AOS, ARTS, and MOBA news and discussion. I will see you guys next week. Peace out.